Hi folks, welcome back for more Let's Play Back to the Future, Episode 1. If you recalled, recalled, if you recall, we managed to get Artie McFly's hat away from Kid Tannen. And now we need to track Artie McFly. Just like before, this is where Einstein comes in really handy. Need to use... Einstein. Hey, honey. Come here for a sec, boy. Hey, boy. Can you find the guy who belongs to this hat? Yes. Where is he going? Only one way to find out. This looks familiar, doesn't it? Huh. Deja vu. Yep. Yeah? Who is it? It's McFly! Shh, I know! Let's talk to him. Hey, Arthur, can you come down a minute? Do I know you? I'm your grand... uh, mother's great nephew. You mean my second cousin? Yeah! Glad to know you, but I can't leave this building till the boss says so. He's given strict orders. Sorry. Some other time. And he's not kidding. He will not come down until he hears the boss ask for him. So. You know what this means? This means we need to get a recording of the boss asking him to come down. Because there's no way that Biff Tannen... Kid Biff Tannen. Kid Tannen is going to just walk over there and ask him to come down. So, let's see if we can get, you know... Let's see if we can sneak up on him. Let's see if it lets us sneak up on him. Nope, oh, not gonna let us sneak up that way. We're gonna have to walk down here. There he is. Uh oh, they spotted us. Well, well, look who's back! They say rats always return to the scene of the sinking ship. Uh, get him, matches! That is an incredibly messed up metaphor. Uh oh, getting cut off. Cut off in every way. Come down from there, you son of a bitch! Right now! That's an order! Hmm. Don't make me angry, Smucko! Get down here and face. So now he's yelling at us to get down. The music! What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! <laughs> Funny, we needed that now. You can't get away that easy. Nobody puts one over on Kid Tannen and lives to tell about it. You're dead meat, twerp! Better start com- Einstein, help! <laughs> Lay off! Get away from that crazy get nut. Go! Go away, dog. <laughs> We're busy here. Go on, scram. And it allows us to get away. Hey, where'd he go? You let him get away, idiot. Okay, now that we have his boss, you know. Now let's go see if... Hey! Hey! <laughs> you can do this multiple times. 
Each time ends with Einstein chasing him off. We're only making it worse for you. Hey, Einy. Look out, boss. It's it's that crazy mud again. I can't believe you lost him again! <laughs> so obviously walking around the street isn't a good idea. So we need to cut through the park. What now? <laughs> what do you mean, what now? Get down here, you little twerp. What do you think you're doing up there, you scrawny little runt? Get down here right now! It's Kid! Right away, boss! Ah, where's Kid? And now we hurry, since we've got him. Arthur McFly? Yeah? Got something for you. Thanks. A subpoena? Ordering you to appear in court and provide evidence in the investigation into- Kid Tannen? Take it back! You can't get rid of it, Mr. McFly. Once you've been served, it's your duty to report to the court at the earliest possible time. Failure to do so could lead to a warrant for your arrest. Arrest? But kid will kill me. Stupid, stupid, arty, holy cats, what am I gonna do? I suggest you avail yourself to the protection of the court. Oh gosh, oh gosh. And thus, the alcohol is at his house. The subpoena's been served. So now... Well, we've served the we subpoena and gotten a barrel of booze delivered to your house. Looks like we're off to your lab to build your rocket drill. Ah, uh, you do have a lab, right? What kind of future patent holder would I be without a lab? Come on! <laughs> Doc! I'm off to get the rocket drill. Good! <gasps> Come on, let's go. Time waits for no man. You ain't kid. Are you sure this is gonna work, Emmett? Don't let the ramshackle nature of my laboratory fool you. If all goes according to plan, we'll soon be in possession of the most powerful rocket fuel known to man. That's great. Uh, how? Well, it's very simple. This crankshaft induces a powerful direct current into the electrolysis chamber, producing hydrogen, which must be periodically released into the primary distillation barrel. While tending to the hydrogen, we'll also need to regularly sprinkle these shredded protein flakes into this aquarium of tuber bacteria to generate the necessary nitrogen to catalyze the reaction. Cool. Oh, hot! Extremely hot! The temperature of the reaction must be kept at a steady temperature of 623 degrees Kelvin by carefully pumping these bellows! Any questions? Okay. The next part we are going to do is a bit of a uh, you'll see what it you'll see when I get into it. But basically, he's going to have Emmett is going to have to go talk to his father. You'll understand in a second. And while he's talking to his father, he's going to bark orders at us. This is especially easy with the subtitles on. If you don't have the subtitles on, you gotta listen carefully. You still have to listen carefully anyway, 
but he's going to give us orders that relate to those four things he just showed you. The electrical generator, which has the crank, which revolves. The bellows, which pump and produce heat and flame. The bacteria, which have to be fed. <clears throat> and the, uh... Now I can't remember the last one. Bellows, bacteria. Darn it. Well, it, you'll, but he will, you'll see when we go into it. He'll start barking out those orders. As he barks it out, you've got to do them in the order he says it. Now, after you get a little ways into it, his father will also start barking orders, which will cause you to be careful, you have to be careful about which one you pick. Oh yeah, the release, the release pressure valve. You'll understand, like I said, you'll understand when we get into it, but that's the gist of it. He's going to bark out orders. We have to follow him. Uh... Hey, Matt? Here we go. Why is there a brace of drunkards gathering on our lawn? Sweet fancy Moses, it's my father! So? So, he doesn't know I'm engaging in acts of scientific exploration in here. He thinks this is where I go to pour through my law books. Oh. You attend to the reaction. I'll try to get rid of him. Attend to the what? Can't we just start over after he's gone? It's too late. The reaction's already started. Don't worry. I'll try to help you out where I can. But uh, coming, father. It gets father! It's easy to start oh, out with. Hard on me, child. Is it my fault if I don't get a spark out of laws and statues? Spark? Eternal electrical crank. <laughs> Why don't you go feed the ducks, father? Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Release gaseous pressure. Excellent. Now twist the valve there. Great. We're about a quarter of the way home. Yep, we have to do this Get three more here. times. <laughs> You're going to find Pressuring out. me to be something I'm not. I hope someday you have children and you will look at all. I don't know what's eating you, Father, but I wish you would go on a diet. This does get faster later. Don't you have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? And you don't get to control my life just because you fed and clothed me for 17 years. The hotter you get, the more I know I'm right. Ah, halfway there! Two more rounds. Keep up the good work. This isn't food for thought, Pop. It's gruel. What will it take to light a fire? Don't listen to that. That's the father. If it weren't for scientists, men like you would still be dividing the future with sheep's bladders and goat gizzards. I think bladders is the pressure. Yep. This may come as a shock to you, Pop, but not everyone wants to be a lawyer. You have no idea what kind of pressure I'm under. Someday, you know who invented fire pop? I don't know either, but you can be damn sure it wasn't a lawyer. <laughs> Maybe I should just get struck by lightning. Would that make you happy? Are you trying to spin this argument around to my failing? Almost there. Gotta do the next one, and he will start yeah. pumping out the orders uh, coming fire. fast. Probably faster than yeah. I can move. Yeah. How many times do I have to prove myself to you before I can shake your overbearing criticisms? <laughs> in my what do you call a room full of lawyers trapped in a burning building? A good start! I strongly object to the current of this conversation, Father. Why must you always scatter condescension, my way? I knew I to learn. Don't you 
have a release valve on your mouth somewhere? You're you don't like my performance at the courthouse, then fire me. <laughs> Why won't you release me from your unattainable expectations? Why should I honor your wishes? You treat me like common bacteria. Pressuring me to be something I'm not. Law may be your burning passion, Father, but it is not mine. I'm not just another one of your staffers who spins around you like a top. Oh, I'm afraid we'll have to take this up later, Pop. My super And we did over. it. What? This isn't over, young man. Whew. You okay? You and your dad sounded... It was an argument we should have had a long time ago. We... Oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> Eureka! <laughs> Now all we gotta do is fuel up the old rocket power drill, and you and, and I can... I can take it and go. But don't you want to test it first? No time. The, uh, the the last train for D.C. leaves in just a few minutes. All right. You've got to get this baby to the U.S. Patent Office. Uh, exactly. So tell me, Harry, when can I expect to hear back from the Patent Office? Uh, a week? Oh, in about, I'd say... Unfortunately, he just can't lie. I can't. Huh? Emmett, I, I'm not from the patent office. I don't understand. I, I, I lied to you, but I, I didn't want to. It was just, it was the only way I can get you to trust me. See, there's somebody who's in big trouble. Someone very important to me, to, to both of us. I, I can't tell you who, but I need to save him tonight. And, and I need your invention to do it. I'll get it back to you, I, I promise. And, Emmett, you're gonna be a great inventor. Wait! Keep the throttle at about eight. <laughs> Okay, Doc, I got the drill. Now let's get you out of here. Come on, start! Oops. Didn't quite work as planned. Harry! You're too late! Too late? The Doc's not supposed to be... Doc! And there goes Doc. They're moving him to another facility for safekeeping! Oh! I better go get a quote from the police chief! Hmm. Paddy wagon intercepted. Suspect slain. And they're still after him! Yep. How am I gonna rescue him now? But with that... It's a good time to cut the video because the next one should be the end. So, I will see everybody next time for what should be the conclusion to Let's Play Back to the Future, Episode 1. Hope to see you then, folks. Take care, everyone.